Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Courtney Violetta and this is the Embodiment Community where we learn how to embody our higher selves through spirituality, wellness, and holistic healing. So if you're looking for a friend along your spiritual journey, whatever that may look like, definitely subscribe to my channel. I recently just purchased another Oracle deck and if you have seen my video about why I no longer collect crystals or Oracle decks or things like that, it's because I really just want to have like a minimal amount of ones that I actually use and truly, truly love. And I don't really buy them that frequently anymore, but I found this deck and it was just calling to me. And you know when a deck is calling to you, you're like, that's the one. That was this, it was calling to me. I was so excited to get it. And I wanted to make an entire video about how to cleanse an Oracle or tarot deck to make it really work for you, to make it so that you have a deep connection with it so that there's no outside energy affecting these cards, that it is all you and love and pure light energy that will ultimately really help you in your readings. So buckle in, I'm gonna show you how I'm going to cleanse these cards and really connect with them. And I'm also gonna let you take a peek at what they look like inside because I haven't even looked at them yet. Like I have not opened this yet. The first thing you're gonna do when you first get an Oracle deck is to open it up and look through each and every card. Touch each card with your hands, look at all the pictures and see if you can start interpreting different messages that you can pick up from each card. How would you interpret the cards? Like, are they really connecting with you? Are they speaking to you in some way? Like that's the most important thing when finding an oracle or tarot deck. It's that you're able to develop a really deep connection to the cards and are able to pick up on the different symbols and messages within them. So if you're able to do that right off the bat, that is a great sign. So what I like to do is look through every single card. I take like 30 minutes and just look through each card, hold it in my hand, get to know it in some way. And it's just really exciting because when you get a new deck, you want to look at all of the pretty pictures. You want to see what you're gonna be working with, so to speak. So definitely take time to really introduce yourselves to the cards in a way and just admire the beauty that they hold. Step number two is to just shuffle the energy around in the cards. So taking a few seconds to shuffle the deck and really, again, get your energy on them. They had been in a box for so long. You can kind of think of it as like just stale energy. We want to really infuse our own within these cards. So as you're shuffling the cards, just envision yourself pouring your own energy and your own light into the deck. like connecting to it in a whole new way. Like visualize light flowing through your body and out through your hands and into the deck. Doing this is gonna help release that stagnant energy and just infuse it with your own so that it's your personalized deck, that your subconscious, your own intuition can really read these cards accurately and will give you the best messages possible. So once we really connect our energy to the deck, what we wanna do is just clear it in general. We want to clear any negative potential energy on them, anybody who's handled them in the past. We want them to be fresh and new and ready for the next stage of their evolution, which is working for us, right? So the first thing that I always like to do is just submerge them in smoke of some kind. So whether that's sage, or lavender or cedar or palo santo whatever it is i like to submerge it in some sort of smoke so i am just going to run my cards through the incense and let the cards be submerged by the smoke so as you're doing this just remember that visualization is key so you can visualize like white light pouring into the cards through the smoke and disintegrating any negative energy um, out into the air and just really just give them like a nice bath essentially in this smoke. The next thing I do is I set my deck down and I place a few different crystals on top of it or around it that really hold the energy and the intention of whatever it is that this deck is bringing into my life. So this deck to me, it's really connected with my spirit guides and my higher self. So it's very much like my ethereal self. So I wanted to use a crystal that I have programmed to really tap into the ancient wisdom of like the Akashic records and my higher self. So I am using my Lemurian quartz. Now this is a very expensive quartz. It is beautiful. It holds ancient knowledge and wisdom within it. And I place it on top of the deck and I just let it sit there for a few hours. And I go about my day doing other different things. Like I'm not really paying attention to the deck, but I know that it's being charged in that moment with that energy that I'm programming it to be. 
So this whole routine is just about filling it with as much positive, loving, divine energy possible. And this is how I make my decks really work for me. And I mean really work and how I find myself having a really deep connection to them. The next thing that I like to do is use sound healing. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm using all of the different senses. I'm using sight through visualization. I'm using sound through sound healing, smell, <laughs> and sometimes um, taste through the herbs that I use because you know you can taste herbs. This is just a good way for me to explain what it is that I'm doing. I'm kind of hitting every mark with the different senses. So like I was saying, I love to use sound healing and sound baths to cleanse crystals and tarot and oracle cards. So what I do is I just place the cards inside of the singing bowl and I'll just play for a few minutes and it's impossible to not be like entranced when you're playing a singing bowl. The sounds are just so beautiful and you can feel like your head vibrating in some way and your heart vibrating. Mine is attuned to the crown chakra through the note that it plays and so I always feel my head vibrating and when I'm doing that I'm really able to connect to source and bring in that like a divine element as I'm reading the card. So I'm really interpreting them from my highest self. So infusing all the energy that you can into the cards, infuse them with whatever feels good to you. It could be crystal energy, earth, mother nature, if you wanna place them in the ground or you wanna infuse it with like the moon, you can do that on the phone. There's so many different ways to cleanse and charge oracle decks, tarot cards, um, crystals, all of that. So it's really just up to you and what you like to do. And lastly, I love to do a meditation with the cards, asking for, you know, my higher self to really come through when I'm reading these cards um, so that I can get an accurate message and an accurate um, reading of whatever the situation is. So when I do this, I like to envision a light purple violety light coming down from my higher self or from the universe down through the top of my head all the way through my body activating all of my chakras all the way into the center of the earth so that it's like a full light beam up into the universe and then i like to place the cards on my heart and just fill it with loving positive energy good vibes i just want these cards to be you know, coming from the heart. I don't want to read them from my subconscious wounds. I want to read them from my heart and from my higher self and fully submerge them in that type of energy as I'm doing this little ritual for them. So I know this is a shorter video, but I really wanted to show you how I cleanse and prepare a new deck for me to read and to use in my daily life. And this is exactly how I do it. There are so many different ways that you can do it yourself, make it totally unique to you. I do a few different steps, but you can honestly do one, you could do all of them, you could do none if that feels right to you. It's all about what feels good to you in your heart. And if you're new here and you like this video, make sure you're subscribed because I have a video coming very soon where I am ranking all of my tarot and oracle decks so you'll get to see like a full tour of all of the ones that I have and my absolute favorites and ones that I don't like so much. And if you wanna connect deeper with me, I would love it if you would join our Facebook group. We have the Embodiment Community Facebook group where lots of different people are asking questions about you know crystals and tarot cards or sharing their self-care routines. Um, just connecting with me, introducing themselves. It is so fun. I absolutely love every single person in there. So make sure you are joined to that Facebook group. So I will see you guys very soon with another video. Bye.